हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी विल बी डूइंग एसएमसी सैंपल क्वेश्चंस व्हिच इज सिंगापुर मैथ्स चैलेंज सैंपल क्वेश्चंस फॉर ग्रेड 3 एंड 4 सो लेट्स स्टार्ट स्टार इनटू स्टार गिव्स यू 16 सो व्हाट इज 48 डिवाइड बाय स्टार सो इफ वी नो व्हाट इनटू व्हाट विल गिव मी 16 सो वी नो 4 इनटू 4 विल गिव मी 16 So what is the value of my star? So the value of the star is four. So if you do forty-eight divide by four, so what do we get? So let's just do forty-eight divide by four. Four ones are four. We bring down eight. So two is eight. So forty-eight divide by four is twelve. So my answer is twelve. Let's move on to the second question. The figure below is made up of five identical squares. The perimeter of the square is ninety-six centimeter. What is the area of each square? So, what is the property of the square that all sides are equal? So, all these sides are equal, and they're saying they are identical squares. And the perimeter of this figure is ninety-six. So, perimeter means the boundary. Let's count the number of sides. So, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 you have 12 sides now can you tell me why we will not include these sides let me change the color why we are not including these sides in the perimeter because perimeter is only the outer boundary not the inner boundary side so we will only take 12 so basically 12 sides which are equal so 12 into what will give me 96 because if i add Each of these side twelve times, like each of the side is like a box. If I add it twelve times, I get ninety six. So twelve into what is ninety six? So twelve into eight is ninety six. So each box is eight centimeter. So what is area of a square? Area of a square is side into side, side into side. Each side is eight centimeter. So we do eight times eight. So we get sixty four. So area of Each square is sixty-four centimeter square. Now they say area of each square. Had they said that area of the figure, then you'll have to divide sixty-four. Uh, then you'll have to multiply sixty-four times five if you want the area of the entire figure. Now let's read question number three. The arrow shows the direction of Mr. Sofyan is facing. He turns one thirty-five degree anti-clockwise. In which direction is he facing now? So this this is my direction. Now, if we see this, we can actually draw it like this. So Mr. Sofyan is facing this direction. So we go north, south, west, east. So this becomes northwest. Sorry, southwest, south. East, northeast, and northwest. Now he's facing this direction. He's making one thirty five degree anti clockwise. So clockwise is this direction, the way clock moves, and anti clockwise is the opposite. Anti clockwise. Now he's moving one thirty five degrees anti clockwise. Now what we also need to know is that. Each of this angle is forty-five degrees. So one thirty-five degrees is basically forty-five degrees. Forty-five into three gives me one thirty-five degrees. So we will go a uh, three of this. So one, two, and three. This is anti-clockwise. So which direction is he facing now? He is facing east direction. Now let's read question number four. There are some birds in three trees. Three birds flew from the first tree to the second tree. Two birds flew from the second tree to the third tree. After this, there are five birds in each tree. How many birds were there at first? So let's say tree one, tree two, tree three. So assuming these were the tree uh, number of birds, which we don't know, but then what we know is at the end there were five birds on each tree. Now let's read the question again. Uh, three birds flew from first tree to the second tree. So what happened was three birds flew from here, and it came to the second tree. So three birds got added to tree two, and two birds flew from second tree to the third tree. So you had two here more. After this, there were five birds on each tree. So how many birds were there on each tree at first? Now let's do a reverse calculation. 
So what plus 2 will give me a 5? So 3 plus 2 will give me a 5. And what minus 3 will give me a 5? So 8 minus 3 will give me a 5. And in this case, if you see plus 3 minus 2, so the net effect is only 1. So what plus 1 will give me a 5? So it will be 4. So if we just add it up, so this will be, you will get total number of birds 15 and 15. But how many birds uh, were there in each tree at first? So it was 8 birds in tree 1 and then 4 birds in tree 2 and 3 birds in tree 3. So total 15 birds even at the beginning. Now uh, let's read question number 5. A tank of pail and a bottle can hold a total of 52 liters of water. The pail can hold 8 liters more than water, more water than the bottle. The tank can hold 4, mar four times as much as water as the pail. How much water can the bottle hold? So let's just reduce this. And let's just do this. So what does he have? Let's just erase this also. So that we have space. So the same there is a tank and there is a pail and there is a bottle. All three of them can hold a total of 52 liters of water. Now they are saying the pail can hold 8 liters more water than the bottle. So suppose the bottle can hold so much. So the pail can hold so much plus 8 liters uh, more water than the bottle. The tank can hold four times as much water as the pail. So what does that mean? That it can hold one, two, three, four because four times and you do eight into four which is 32. So basically the tank can hold so much water. Right now we need to find the value of each box. So let's just calculate how many boxes do I have? One, two, three, four, five, and six plus 32 plus 8 is 40. This is equal to 52 liters. Now these are six boxes. So can I say these six boxes is equal to 52 minus 40, which is 12. Now six into box will give me a 12. So 6 into what will give me a 12? 6 into 2 will give me a 12. So the how much water can each bottle hold? Each bottle can hold 2 liters of water. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.